People swear by the health benefits of Chinese traditional medicine, but often there are concerns such medicine may not have been subjected to rigorous scientific analysis. Now, in a groundbreaking partnership between East and West, Australia and China are analysing the reputed therapeutic effects of a traditional Chinese vegetable, the bitter melon. Using high-end technology, researchers have been able to unlock its secrets and in the process may have found the basis for a new drug for type 2 diabetes. Thea De Chaos reports. At least once a week, Xiaomin Wung prepares a traditional Chinese dish using the vegetable bitter melon. The recipe comes from her grandmother, who also recommended a concoction of bitter melon juice to combat ailments. Now, her husband, a scientist at one of Australia's largest medical research institutes in Sydney, is analysing the potential of this humble vegetable. Chinese medicine is a very rich source for finding new therapies for diseases, uh, including diabetes. The health benefits of bitter melon were noted 500 years ago in the writings of Li Shi-Tsen, one of China's most revered medical scholars. Since then, it's been credited by Chinese medicine practitioners as helping to cool the body, promote digestion and even brighten the eyes. But many find its bitter taste hard to swallow. Today, researchers are returning to these ancient texts in the hope of finding clues to combat modern diseases like diabetes. Type 2 diabetes has been identified by the Chinese government as a ticking time bomb. Now it's estimated by 2025, China will have one of the biggest diabetes problems in the world. Years ago, the Chinese government sent a delegation to Australia to explore new research opportunities in diabetes medication. I think a lot of people thought this idea was a little bit weird to begin with, you know? Maybe some people thought the Garvin Institute had lost the plot. Well, we just got funded. We just got, we got the funds for the two new big instruments. You're kidding me. And, uh, Professor David James is a cell biologist specialising in diabetes at the Garvin Institute of Medical Research in Sydney. He heads up the team selected to work with the Chinese to analyse the properties of bitter melon. Many of our modern medicines actually come from this, this very way, you know, so uh, aspirin and, and uh, uh, metformin, which is one of the most commonly used medications for diabetes came from plants. A ton of bitter melon was broken down to its most basic parts. Using a high-powered microscope, the team were able to identify several new compounds which, when applied to muscle cells, produced an important reaction. What appears to be an explosion is actually the compound triggering the muscle cell to absorb glucose. When we uh, give this compound to our mice just before a meal, uh, we then give the meal, we find that they have a much more efficient uh, removal of glucose from the blood uh, compared to, their, to animals that have, have not been given the drug. The most significant observation was that there were no side effects in the mice with type 2 diabetes. The process is in its early stages and human trials are possibly a year away. But the hope is that this new naturally occurring compound can be replicated in a laboratory and provide the basis for a new diabetes medicine. So in fact we even have taken out a, a patent on these molecules which in a sense it's sort of like Sir Edmund Hillary's flag on the top of Mount Everest. Um, so that's how confident we are that it's a world first. The potential benefits of bitter melon come as no surprise to Benny Fan of the Australian Chinese Medicine Association. For 25 years, he's been telling patients it can help with all manner of ailments. Not just diabetes, for people keep slim, weight loss, uh, anti hypertension, even for the cholesterol. 
it's time for the next blood samples. So I'll pop the tourniquet on. For the half a million Australians with the disease, tablets or injections are taken daily to regulate blood sugar. Kathy Samaras has been working with type 2 diabetics for over a decade. She's well aware of the side effects some patients experience with their medication. Some people can experience nausea, some people experience diarrhoea. One can experience a low sugar level, but in its worst manifestations will cause a seizure. So it's a very serious side effect. Then a lot of the drugs will cause weight gain, which in people who are already struggling with their weight is a, a big added problem. Of course, prevention of type 2 diabetes is the ideal approach, the key being weight loss and exercise. But for Joseph Skrinsky, that wasn't enough. It's about five years ago now, and it was totally accidental. I actually lost my referral for a blood test and found a very old one, which happened to have the laundry list of tests on it. So I whizzed in with that, and uh, we were looking for something else, but it came back saying that I was diabetic, so it was a total shock to me and to my GP. Why he contracted the disease is still a mystery. He wasn't overweight and had no family history of type 2 diabetes. More accustomed to investing in corporate ventures, his own health prompted him to put his own money behind the study. It mimicked something that we do in business, in venture capital and equity, which is finding novel and different ways of doing things. But for all those type 2 diabetics who may be rushing out to take bitter melon, researchers stress caution and consultation with medical professionals. Look, I think in general, with many of these sort of natural products, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. And we advocate that whenever you're going to advise people to take some form of treatment, whether it's a natural product or a, a prescription medication, there has to be scientific validity behind uh, that, that recommendation. Theatre Chaos with that report. For more on any of our stories or to leave us a message, just go to our...